So this is a series of load and mobility training for side splits and for pancake. Um, so starting off with your, your body tall, so you're reaching up through your body, which a lot of it comes from the pelvis being able to rock forward this way. So it's like an L sit here on the ceiling. So I'm thinking about my belly button coming straight forward like this, my chest coming up this way. So as high as I can, which is really inflexible in your hands, you may be here. Over time now you'll find you can get up higher. Then from here, a bit of support with your hands. You're compressing, so I'm giving all the air out. So I'm... So this out breath gets the internal obliques working well. So get that compression, pushing through the arms, that out breath, lifting here as high as I can. And this will work my quads and hip flexors especially. I'm doing eight to 10 to start with. And I'm really trying to avoid not leaning back. It'll make it heaps easier. If you need to in the beginning, that's fine. And you may need to sit on a bolster, like a foam roller, to get more height so you can actually get a better position. That's totally fine to do when you're lifting here, the same, same idea. So starting with that first, so I'll work the hip flexors, did some reciprocal inhibition going on in the hemis. Then from here, using your muscle power, opening out to whatever you can. Feet stay to the roof, don't let them roll in or out here. And then I'm sitting up tall, aiming to get my pelvis to roll forward here. And I'm reaching forward and I'm pushing into the ground with my heels. So I'm pushing straight down and also trying to pull my legs together as well. So I'm going, I'm pulling in this way. So there's some muscle activation is the idea and I keep that activation. And that's maybe about a 20% activation there. Holding that. And coming back. Out breath, lifting, pulling in. Then I'm opening out again, using that compression. Out breath. It's going to get wider. Now I'm using my butt muscles. And I'm, straight, I'm, I'm contracting my thighs. So pushing my knees down into the floor. Contracting my butt. So I'm actually using my butt to hold my legs open now. And I'm staying tall. So I'm using all different sides of the joint muscles and the sides of the joints of the hip. So training those. Holding about 10 seconds. Using my muscle power to lift. Staying tall again. Lift. About eight to 10. I'm opening again, getting your weight if you need to, so it's only five kilos but a light weight is fine, rolling my hips forward as I come forward, pushing down and in with the legs, and I'm reaching forward here so I have the weight to help me, and I'm holding this, building up to two minutes, so two minutes is the time frame to make a, make a more permanent deformation in the fascia, so it learns to hold this position. And what we're doing is getting the nervous system used to a position that normally it finds threatening. So newly made flexibility, the brain doesn't know that it's safe. So when we hold it for long periods of time, it puts strength through that new range. It's called extended length conditioning. Then the brain learns that it's not a threat and it'll keep the flexibility open more easily. And you actually get stronger in these new positions. So it's especially if you're doing pole or, or lira, uh, gymnastics, martial arts, you need to have strength in your flexibility. So I'm holding it for two minutes. I'm aiming to stay really straight with my spine. And you'll find that it starts to go out more. You can also pop this on your back like this. Come forward this way. Bearing in mind you can overdo this. So you're, just, you're still staying shy of pushing this to 100%. But injury takes one second to get and will set you back for weeks, if not months. So two minutes here, then we're coming back. Get rid of that. I'm aiming to lift my legs. I'm trying to lift my legs already. I'm trying to lift my legs up this way. And then I'll push them forward in. So I lift again, eight to 10. I'm 
leaning forward, grabbing my ankle, and grabbing my shin, and grabbing my feet. I'm coming forward with my, with my body, then bending my knees, and I'm pulling my heels back. So I feel my hands activate, pulling the heels back, keeping my body where it is. Uh, sorry, coming forward. So I make new range with the knees bent, and then I keep my body where it is. I straighten my legs. Then I bend my legs again, pull my heels towards my backside. So I come forward a bit more. And I straighten my legs. This is a form of kinesiological stretching. So it's tricking the muscle spin. And then I bend my knees again, pull the heels in towards my butt, butt, come forward again, and straighten the legs. Come up really tall, try to keep that rotation forward, lifting again. Really try not to lean back as I do this. And I'm using this new tall position coming from the hemis. I open my legs again. And from here, I'm leaning over to one side, lifting that knee, lean over there more, straighten the leg, lean over more, pulling my heel towards my backside again. So I lean over more while the knee's bent, straighten the leg. Bend, pull it in, lean over more if I can. So do this three times, straighten the leg. Go over the other side. It may just be a lean you're doing this way. You can grab, grab. Bend the knee. Activate the hemi by pulling your foot, in, your heel in towards the backside. Lean, straighten the leg. Bend, pull in, lean more if you can. Straighten the leg. Bend the leg, lean more. Straighten the leg. Come back up, lean forward, grab if you can, bending both your legs, come forward, straighten your legs, lean if you can more, bend, pull the, hemi, the heels in towards the backside, straighten, and one more bend, and that's my limit right now. And from here, I'll try to lift my legs up again. So you probably won't be able to do it, but you're getting the action through the muscle to be in that position. Then I'm trying to open my legs more. So you may need to slide forward. So you have a wider opening. Using my butt to hold that position. Lifting again, sliding forward, and just letting the. I'm trying to open my heels wider while my pelvis goes forward and down more. So I'm using gravity here. Then I'm sitting up, new position, nice and tall. Using my butt, using all my muscles to hold this here. I'm holding this for 30 seconds. So just breathing as deep and calm as you can. The more you hold your breath when you do this and feel tense in your body, the brain reads that as there's something wrong, there's a big stress, there's a threat. So the more you can relax your breathing, the more your muscles open. And then from here, I lift, pull in, lift again. And from here, I lean back a little bit, pulling in, like I'm trying to bring my foot inside my foot up to here. That's as far as I can go with what's called active range. I'm just getting some of the internal rotators, external rotators working here. And that's a good routine to go through. If you go through that two, even three times, you'll get incredible flexibility results. This can be done twice a week is enough, three times at the most. So all this work can be done, like I've seen on a foam roller, sitting up nice and tall. It's actually easier to sit up tall because the lead is different. Still, Doing this, I'm pushing through the hamstring on this side here as I lift that leg too. So I'm doing eight to 10 reps, and then I'm opening this here. You'll find you're going to use the roll of the roller to come forward as long as it's a slip out from your butt. So you get a really good leverage to put strength through here. So we're doing all that sequence just with the, the hips higher. So you might go through one or two times cycles, then take this away and do it on the ground.